All right, starting over here on the far left, this is my tower of dollar coins. I have several different presidents, some Sacagaweas in there. I have three dollar coins from the 70s, all in pretty good condition, with <laughs> one of my favorite engravings, an eagle on the moon. Um, I have a bunch of half dollars from the 70s, and I think some from the 60s. All of these but one have the same engraving on the back. Let me see if I can find it in this little stack here. Uh, let's see. Aha! The Centennial one has Independence Hall on the back. 200 years of freedom. 1976. I'm not going to worry too much about the stack. Canadian quarters. 25 cents. Older ones have... Fuck. Damn it. Older ones have younger Queen Elizabeth II. More modern ones have... Older Queen Elizabeth II. What I just knocked over was my Tower of Canadian Pennies. Fuck. Some of them just fell. Oh, uh, well. I have Canadian Pennies from various years. Some of them are rigid. Some of them are completely round. I'm not sure why some of them are rigid. But, yes, lots of Canadian Pennies. These are all of my... Or almost all. Yeah, these are all of my Wheatback wheat American pennies. Um, I have some regular pennies from the 60s. Um, this is my very first Indian head penny from 1903. Decent condition. I can still see almost all of the engravings. It's details. And then I have some miscellaneous modern pennies with different designs on the back. This one my boyfriend got me for Christmas. Hee <laughs> hee. And then over here in the back, I've got some American quarters from the 60s and prior. Um, Canadian nickels. Uh, American nickels from the 60s and prior. Over here, I have a whole bunch of miscellaneous coins. Um... I have, I'm going to zoom out a bit, I have, this one is, I just knocked over the Canadian pennies again, this is, I believe, 10 pesos in Mexico. Come on, focus. It's hard getting it to focus, it does not want to focus. What if I do this? No? No focus? Aha! I'll put it on my knee. Nineteen eighty six. Then I have one peso, twenty eighteen. Twenty five coin Dala Wamput Lemano Centimos Juan Luna The Republic of the Philippines nineteen seventy one. I have a Portland, Oregon little commemorative coin. Cute little thing. I've got a 25 cent coin from the Commonwealth of the Bahamas from 2005. Swordfish and a flamingo. The Stegosaurus coin. 
I assume this came from a zoo or someplace. It has information about stegosauruses on the back. Dino coins. Another fucking Canadian penny fell. There. Let's see, what else do I have back here? Aha! I'm gonna move aside the Canadian quarters for a second. I have a freedom coin. I assume this one is another arcade coin because on the back it simply says no cash value. Next, I have this that I got today. A X Mark IDX 1.073 slash A075 token. Or just an X Mark token. These were apparently used in arcades, laundromats, and casinos as tokens so that people couldn't use counterfeit slugs or, uh, whatchamacallums, uh, I'm forgetting, but basically they prevent theft. I have two of these. These I got from an arcade. El Eut, top quality entertaining the world it says the same thing on each side it's just i got these from a coin pusher game came out with one of uh, those little collective cards and this is something that i got from my mom the golden gate international x golden gate international Exposition 1939 Union Pacific Railroad uh, on the back. It has let's see, is that upside down? I think that is. Yeah, it's upside down. There we go. Union Pacific Overland. Some kind of exhibition coin. Aluminum in these famous trains. Aluminum Company of America. And I think that's everything. Some more uh, 50 cent pieces back here. Yeah. That's everything for now.